Ryan Garcia calls out UFC champion Henry Cejudo and Cejudo responds quickly to Ryan Garcia. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Shout out to everybody that used ESPN Plus pay-per-view UFC 249. Use my link. The link is still in this description of all of my videos. Get ESPN Plus an app. Tons of content on the platform. And a lot of people quarantine. So it's a great way to catch up on quarantine shows, quarantine content, I like to call it. Use the link in the description. It does help the channel. Get ESPN Plus as a standalone app. Or you can combine and get the bundle. ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one price. That's $12.99. More information in the description. Let's get it. Now, Ryan Garcia, you know, maybe he's bored. He's he's talking about he's coming back July 4th, but he posted this that I seen earlier. He basically asked his fans what they think of him fighting champion UFC guy, Henry Cejudo. You know, it was really random. He says, you think Henry Cejudo would give me a good fight in the boxing ring. And then, you know, people are adding their two cents, fans of his, because, you know, Ryan Garcia has a, a big fan base. Says, LOL, no, fight him in the octagon. Why do you boxers always want to fight on your terms? Um, I've got a better question. Do you think you can give any UFC fighter a real fight in the octagon? This kid fought nobody and already talking big-ish. Henry, first round TKO, first three seconds TKO, no same way you wouldn't give him a good fight in a fight you know people are going crazy so a lot he opened the floodgates how about you come over to mma nice change of pace for once oh my god no look at the tom cruise since you're calling him out you go in the cage pretty boy he has 17 knockouts and he's 20 and no he's not much of a pretty boy anymore you know people are going in don't like the boy but he's pretty still no doubt i'm an honest troll that's a weird comments lol he hasn't had a good fight wait till javante davis gets his gets on his ass word bro kid talks a lot of ish but not so long because not so long ago he was crying because oscar was ignoring him oscar is not stupid he knows that the kid is good but not that good he's his money maker that's why he doesn't want to give him a money fight can't handle the pressure damn boxing is an art maybe but even an elite boxer wouldn't last in the octagon he hasn't fought the best sit down kid uh, you know i got the eye of the tiger what are you doing hey tommy you want to fight <laughs> i got this picture of stallone you know that's my dude you want to see jake paul and henry and dylan dead damn so people are going in but anyway the most important responses from henry Cejudo. let me get back to the beginning make sure you guys smash the like button head over to the patreon as well i have the patreon set up revamped it started from scratch very easy to follow the different tier system i'll shift some of the content over there for the patreons only and also youtube channel members so head over to patreon or hit the join button and become a youtube channel member but this is what henry Cejudo, brand new champion great performance against dominique cruz it was a good fight, UFC 249. Henry Cejudo, he did actually respond to Ryan Garcia and his call out. Henry Cejudo says, man, get the hell out of here. You Oscar De La Hoya wannabe, I'd make you bend the knee in your own sport. Dana White, allow me to fry this fish. So he said he was retiring. I think he did that to renegotiate his contract possibly. But that's what he said. He said he was retiring, but I guess he he had time today because he, he had time to respond to Ryan Garcia and come out of retirement. And now he's saying he wants that work with Ryan Garcia. So he's not a believer. He says, get the hell out of here, Oscar De La Hoya wannabe. I'll make you bend the knee in your own sport. Dana White, allow me to fry this fish. So he says he can beat, you know, in a game of striking or boxing. You know, with the hands, he's saying he could beat Ryan Garcia. Listen, Ryan's quick. He's explosive. 
Maybe that's what this is coming to, where you you get a lot of entertainment fights and crossover fights. Floyd Mayweather is a genius because him and Conor McGregor did astronomical numbers, they did great blockbuster numbers, and a lot of people ridiculed Floyd and said he ain't this and that, and he's ruining his legacy and all this junk. And everybody's copying. You know, you see UFC fighters and boxers intertwining and calling each other out. Tyson Fury talking about Francis Ngannou and fighting Stipe. You've seen Dillian White talk about fighting Francis Ngannou and UFC guys. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So let me know what you guys think. Henry Seuro, champion. I don't think he was really retiring. I think he's trying to renegotiate his UFC contract. But he's saying he could work Ryan Garcia over. Ryan Garcia has been feeling himself. I think he has at least two first round knockouts in the first well like i said in the first round two first round ko's and he's with canelo's trainer so let me know what you guys think who wins if they were to fight in boxing henry sehudo said he got that work i will say henry sehudo he was impressive dominic cruz awkward style boxing and ufc obviously are two different sports but he he looked good for what it's worth he looked good in his fight with Dominic Cruz, who's a tricky guy, uses his feet very well, despite him coming off of a long layoff. UFC 249 was grand. Let me know what you guys think. Head over to ESPN Plus Patreon or hit the join button. I promise you, quarantine or not, even in the recession, is still a blessing. Let me know what you guys think. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.